Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first one of 2024. I hope you guys all had an amazing holiday season, a fantastic New Year's, that you guys got all of your dreams come true and all of your best wishes. Today's video is going to be starting off the New Year, kicking it old school with a handbag review. We are going back to my roots. The bags that I'm gonna be reviewing are from Coup Deluxe. Before you guys ask me, because every time I wear this like shrug thingy, everybody asks me, it's by Isabelle Marant. I bought it a few years ago. I will try and find it. And this is by Skims. My jeans are Citizen. I've been loving this like tube sweater combo. This comes with like a tube, like a knit tube that I also love wearing, but I kind of love it with the Skims underpiece situation. So the handbags I'm gonna be reviewing today, we're gonna have a one Louis Vuitton, two Paco Rabans, which the company is now called Raban and an Hermes. So let's get going. The bags come from Coup Deluxe. Coup Deluxe is a handbag rental company based in Montreal. Basically over the holidays I needed a bunch of like cute bags so I got these four. I work in partnership with them so I was able to borrow these for two weeks but you can rent them for as little as three days up to a longer period of time depending on your needs but I was good with two weeks and before I hand these back I thought I would do a mini reviews for you guys. Paco Rabanne is one of those sleeper brands that I feel nobody really talks about but happens to be one of my favorite brands. I have this bag in silver and I love this bag. So this is the Link bag. You guys have seen me wear this probably a million times in the silver because it is my go-to going out bag, but in the gold. It's that woven through aesthetic. It's chain linked together, which is really nice because it collapses really nice. Like when you put it on, it has a really nice droop to it. So this bag in silver has been probably my go-to for the past year and a half. Every time I have an evening out, I tend to go this. I'm a big fan of mixing metals, so I don't mind that if I'm wearing gold jewelry, I have the silver bag because I tend to usually wear yellow gold. I mean, I'm a yellow gold queen, but then I also have my stainless Cartier watch mixed into the batch. So like, I'm, I, I really do mix my metals. It can be worn double on the shoulder, but it could also be worn as a crossbody. I'm probably gonna end up renting this bag back for when I get married, because I think this is like one of those perfect little bags. We're not doing a big wedding or anything. We're just doing courthouse followed by a dinner with our just like family and stuff. Like it's literally an eloping situation, but I feel like I'd still wanna do something really like cutesy like this and I just find it so beautiful. It's, it's really a nice piece. And as much as I do love the silver, I actually think I prefer the gold. What I do love about Coup Deluxe though is that it gets you a chance to kind of try things out because I ended up buying the silver thinking it would be more versatile. And now that I've kind of had the gold, I noticed it's quite versatile. The next bag is also by Paco Rabanne. It is the, um, it's like the disco bag. I ended up wearing this for New Year's Eve. It was definitely the most perfect New Year's Eve bag ever. And I had a very like sparkly skirt and this went with it really well. It was a La Marque sparkly diamante skirt with this purse and I had my La Marque just like pointy black pumps. It was so good and it was such a good statement piece. Um, I actually prefer this bag over the last one that I showed you. I kind of wish I would have gone in this direction to buy for my own personal collection. Uh, the straps on this one are removable. So it's like a lobster claw that you can just remove, which is really nice because then you're actually able to shorten the strap on this bag with the straps. You can just kind of also do a one-sided. You could carry it as a clutch. I also love that the inside of this bag is leather lined. So the bag keeps its structure a lot more than the other one does. The other one is really, I feel more of a statement. You're really just carrying kind of the basics in there. You just really have like a credit card, a lipstick. It's a very small bag. This one surprisingly carries a lot more than you would think. This one for New Year's Eve, like I had my full wallet, my keys, my lipstick, an EpiPen. This bag held a lot. Like all the stuff that, like as moms, you guys know, all the stuff that your kid will end up handing to you fit in here, which was really, really nice. 
I kind of wish I knew that Kudalex existed before I bought the Paco Rabanne bag. Not that I wouldn't have bought it because to be honest, I'm so impulsive, I would have bought it without waiting. But for somebody who is less impulsive, it's actually nice to kind of test run different options of bags because I definitely feel like the Paco Rabanne that I have serves the same purpose as this. But had I known, this is much more practical than the other one. In case you didn't notice, I'm a huge fan. This one is called the Light Go. I'm a big, big, big fan of this bag. Dare I say, possibly my favorite going out bag. I feel like that's a big thing for me to say considering I feel like I mostly own going out bags. This next bag is a bag that I enjoyed renting so much that I now want to add this to my collection. It is a Louis Vuitton and this is the bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Twist, but it's the small one, the one that has the I have to get the, the size of it. I will write it down below, but it's the one that has the belt slide on option and it comes with, it's like a walk. It's basically a Louis Vuitton twist walk. I used this bag this weekend for a date night with my guy and this was perfect. It literally everything I needed. We went out for a cooking class so I still needed to have like my EpiPen, full, like full blown stuff. And we went out for drinks afterwards and it was perfect. You have the signature Louis Vuitton lobster claw here so you can take off the chain if need be. Sorry, long nails and lobster claws don't mix. But it also has that at the back where you could actually either slide through a belt or use the chain as your belt to put it as a waist bag, which is to me possibly one of the most practical things with bags, especially when they're this size. I have wanted a Louis Vuitton twist for ages and never, and I never bit the bullet because for me I was like, I don't know, it's kind of like gimmicky, is this really something that I'm going to love forever? I love this bag. The inside you have the card slots, but you also have a back slot. You have the zipper at the front, but you also have like a generous pocket for a bag that is this size. For a bag that looks this small, you can't typically fit as much as you would in this bag. For me, the twist is now officially a bag that is back on my radar. I think the last time I even thought of the Louis Vuitton twist was like five years ago. This bag is a must. I would love to now even try it in a larger size and this size. I really think that these are the two winning sizes. I just love this bag and I haven't been a fan of Louis Vuitton for a long time. I feel like I've really stepped off the Louis Vuitton bandwagon and I really feel as though this twist made me kind of like jump back on board with it. This is just a the Louis Vuitton twist. Next off, I saved the best for last, obviously is by Hermes. And this bag, the owner of Coup Deluxe actually asked me my opinion on this one. She's like, do you think I should do this one? Do we like it for like rental purposes? And I was like, um, yes, this is the ultimate class. I love this bag. Picture this with like a maxi tan skin, hair blowing in the wind, your little H clutch. This is Epsom leather. It feels so good. The condition on this is perfect. It goes with everything. I haven't even styled it yet but it's like everything. So this is just what it looks like on the inside. It's really a self-explanatory situation. It's really just like a straightforward, perfect, oversized clutch, which especially clutches right now are having such a moment, like daytime clutches. It doesn't need to be nighttime. This size to me is that bag that you'll just bring with you everywhere. I feel like even just with this outfit, it's such a great piece. So I'm a big fan of this. And this is now also a bag on my radar. That is the problem when you also rent bags because then you become like, you create a need that you didn't know you had. Like I, I never even considered this bag in my life. If anything, I would have considered probably the smaller wallet version that I would have used as a clutch. But now I've created like a whole need that I didn't know I needed and I love this. I love the color. I'd never even considered Hermes orange and then this is now all of a sudden a need. Now do I need a Birkin 25 in orange? Is that what we're going to next? I thought I was going pink, but now I'm going orange. I don't know, I love this bag. It's so sophisticated, so understated, but at the same time, anybody who knows, knows. You know what I mean? I just, this is such a beauty. The back of it just looks like this. I mean, again, very self-explanatory. I love this bag. 
So uh, that is it guys. I wanted to just show you guys. I figure as I rent their bags because they have so many, I would show you guys the bags that I get from them and do mini reviews on them so you guys can see if you need them, if they're bags that you'd wanna look at and stuff like that. So we get more information on bags out into the YouTube universe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know down below what kind of videos you'd like to see next. I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.